Today is the 12th of June, 2013, and we'd like to welcome you to Megatrade101.com's video presentation. Although what we would like to cover here is the insights of how market analysis on price action how it works and most especially understanding how prices move after most of the economic indicators have been digested especially for the previous trading where a string of economic reports have been made that prompted the US dollar basically to move lower. Our main objective here is to show you in a live market where price action is being made before another increase in volatility would take place when the uh, University of Michigan confidence report would be coming out on Friday that would make a huge difference on price action and volatility. However, we do expect that uh, a volatile market would continue with wide price fluctuations in both directions. However, as an insight to the current live market dated today, the 12th of June, what we have here is, or basically are four currency majors and cross rates where all prices are live Currently, what we have here is the euro working at the uh, 1.3335 level. The pound working at 156.82, which is roughly within our target price level of resistance. Let's see if we can do it here at 1.57. 31 actually is the target price level where it would meet some liquidations for those who have taken long positions while momentum has increased altogether and the uh, stochastics is on a positive signal where it's still at 45 and still has more room to move while prices maintain on a weekly basis here to have a better view currently working at the 1.568184 spread as you could see that it's more on a positive tone slightly on the Williams percentage range that the prices have reached its high as compared to how the euro would have moved today still has some room to move higher and we're looking at the channel resistance at the 1.3509 or even 10 level where we have seen that prices have moved within the mid range of its equidistant channel a rising channel where a consolidation here and a double bottom have been indicated alongside with the pound which we have shown you in our previous 
presentation. Now let's move a little further. Understanding the dollar yen at this point, it has made a dramatic move and will show you on a daily basis, especially when it moved from these levels to as low as 94.97, starting of the week, made that low to the 94.97 level, and towards the closing, pulled back its prices. And this particular bar formation on the candlestick, which showed the spinning top formation on a daily basis, indeed have retraced back to its previous moving average with slightly higher volumes when prices deep and closed above its low with three consecutive daily bar formations that was roughly an indication of a correction the three candlestick formation and opening at the same level have retested its previous low which is around 50% of this candlestick week where the actual low here let's see if we can get it on the price level at 95.58 low. Yes, it has been four weeks consecutive, broke down the support on the trend line here, where it was right smack on the moving average, and at 98.34 was the breaking point retracing from that particular low and right now it's working at 95.78 relatively negative on momentum losing momentum naturally negative signals here alongside with the weekly dollar Swiss where the Swiss is low here had been reestablished lower now than the previous which is 0 0.9195 have broken here on the Fibonacci fan support formation trend line support broken and working at 0 0.9210 currently and obviously as far as the relationship with the sterling yen cross rate and the euro pound cross rate which would be our highlight for this understanding this price action currently working in the US trading session where the prices of Let's see if we can make it high, uh, bigger. Obviously, you could see here that we do have that existing two positions on the long side on the euro, euro pound. We're still long on the euro. We're looking at 1.3530 level here. Uh, between 1.3487 and 135 13487 level and 13540 as you can see here that 
on a daily basis if we look at it I'm sorry right here on the okay. this had been a formation where used to be a ascending triangle when it broke lower although this particular tr trend had stopped exactly here at the 0 0.8476 level which is the channel support while it did made the high let's see if we can get it right here at 0 0.8549 say 50 level which is actually the resistance closest to the 8567 level had it penetrated such resistance we're looking at going back to the previous high level which is 0 0.8597 as you noticed here, the pullback on prices when it teaches or reaches its nearest resistance and support, although here it penetrated the channel support at 0 0.8490 and actually made the low at 0 0.8467, quite critical, although it's already way beyond the 50% Fibonacci retracement. But currently, this particular pullback is showing that buyers are actually trying to dominate a slightly bearish daily correction where, as you could see here, that such that this day's correction is basically has a value of minus 72 which is slightly higher from the previous okay and a signal for prices to move higher and what is quite important here is you sh we should be watching the 0 0.850510 even level to be penetrated and once that is so although we do expect higher fluctuations on both sides but that particular breaking the price level of 0 0.85 even 10 level would provide a positive tone for the euro pound cross rate to continue higher and subsequently the prices on the euro euro dollar rather would proceed to the 1.3530 level comparing this sterling yen cross rate with the actual dollar yen the mere fact that we took a short at the price level of 153.05 level here is actually the breaking point where <coughs> excuse me the prices have confirmed below the 153 level to as low as let's see if we can get it 148.16 where this particular trend line support we're looking at 147.79 breaking that support exactly the same anticipated anticipation rather with the dollar yen if that so happens then we're looking at midway at the 146.31 extension level if that holds true then we would be holding that particular position for a little bit longer and build up our market potential on gains as we see fit however the uh, Australian yen cross rate has reached 
its uh, maximum level for now although we're looking at the current price at 91.13 so with that said when the channel when the prices reaches 90 channel support price at 94.22 we should see that the previous low of 89.99 say even 90 we may be seeing some fresh bids coming in the market overly priced oversold areas with even if stochastics are still down would merge on the way up so whenever prices go beyond the 90 level 88.80 .80 level for that matter expect the same scenario on a daily basis that would pull back prices from the low and that would be a price reversal currently here we see a divergence where prices may move higher as a corrective move before volumes build and we can see a volume reversal in the making in the weeks ahead. Meanwhile, the Euro Yen is still taking a cue from the weakness of the Dollar Yen as it moves lower. So we're looking at prices to move back down here at 126.15 level, although we're looking at 125. 50 level for the time being like so although here we're looking at the previous see if we can get it here at 124.97 so range would be at 124.97 to 125.50 where we could find some bids altogether simply because we're looking at a 94.33 channel support if and whenever it moves its extensions to the prices beyond or below such support which is actually the 190 I mean 92.55 level we should be beyond at 124.96 equivalent so looking at overall as far as the uh, price action is concerned we therefore conclude that the um, continuation of the dollar to move lower in conjunction with the dollar yen the cross rates on particularly on the sterling yen and the euro yen would have to move lower in line with a trend line support here at 147.79 so altogether understanding the price action of the different currencies both majors and crosses which we have explained and shown to you an insight of how we trade the foreign exchange market although we are looking at price action isolated from the fundamentals and the real technical tools but understanding how prices move is particularly more important as prices are moved by traders and investors who are in the market where their market sentiments prevails after economic indicators have been released and have been digested so we're looking at how traders analysts and investors are moving the market before another risk event would take place on friday
so what would happen now would be prices would move within the same territory we're looking at a good consolidated move for the dollar after moving lower or would still continue to move lower until such time market fundamental market reports would say otherwise we hope that this video that we're presenting to you where most of the time when most of the time rather we pause simply to look at the prices analyze it all together and uh, for others to be able to understand how prices move in accordance with drivers of the market the real drivers of the market which are traders investors and major players at that that moves the market in both directions it's not a matter of market call or price call but simply timing the market within a major trend is more favorable How, however take note that within a major trend there will always be a major correction and we're looking at such a major correction in the form of the dollar yen and the US dollar although we may be looking at higher highs I mean higher lows rather since the high has already been touched here at the 103.72 level but we would rather take the position on the cross rate sterling yen rather than the dollar although we do have positions on the dollar index in the US futures market as an arbitrary hedge to our positions on the spot so again thank you very much and hope that this analysis would support some of our presentations and outlook as well as the articles that we write on our web page please visit our market view analysis and we don't normally write articles on a blow by blow basis but simply when we see that there's something more important please pay attention to this particular breaking point where prices would move beyond the 0 0.8505 even 10 level which is actually in the making and again thank you very much and hope that you, you always have the best on your trades have a good day and have a good week